you in the matchless name of Jesus. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We're going to rejoice and be glad in it. God has blessed us, has kept us, has enabled us to see another day. And we're going to glorify and lift up his holy name. Hallelujah. We thank God for you, you, and you being with us today. We're going to share today. I don't, if y'all don't mind, I'm going to testify today. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Brother Holmes. Amen. For joining us. Amen. We praying for you, my friend. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And all the families and everybody that's struggling. It looked like this thing's not going to get any better. Hallelujah. But God, amen, is still good. God is still sitting on the throne. Amen. We still put our faith and trust in him. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to speak from the subject today. Joy cometh. Amen. Joy is coming. Brother Holmes, joy is coming. Hallelujah. Have faith and trust God. Look for the joy. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, Psalms 30. Amen. Hallelujah. I um, was talking to someone and I've been a pastor, being a spiritual leader. Amen. So, uh, uh, you have a requirement. There's a certain attitude. You should have a certain decorum. Amen. You should have some some grace. Amen. Hallelujah. You should have. Amen. Hallelujah. A little bit of patience. A lot of patience. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And uh, in this conversation, amen, my humanity, because I'm a human being. Amen. I bleed. I cry just like everybody else. And your leaders do too. Amen. Sometimes we think preachers are not human. Amen. Just because we speak the word of God. We can sway the crowd and people can pass out. People can yield and deliver. It doesn't mean we're not human. And so in my humanity, I said something that I should not have said. It wasn't a cuss word or nothing bad like that. Amen. And the person didn't think nothing of it. But I did. Amen. Hallelujah. I took it personal uh, because when you're a spiritual leader, you're supposed to maintain a, a, your integrity. Amen. A certain amount of decorum. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, um, and I just cried out to the Lord. I said, Lord, please, uh, I just want to be better. I want to be better than that. I want to be a better person to say that. Amen. Sometimes uh, folk will say things to you and the, and the devil knows for me, uh, I don't know about you, but for me, it bothers me when I said nothing to you and I done nothing against you, but yet you got words. Amen. And you're coming out your mouth saying some things. Uh, about me when I've done nothing to you uh, I've never said anything evil against you but yet uh, you have some comments and and what further bothers me is that you say it to somebody else if you have an issue with me you have a problem with me speak it to me call me talk to me but I have to hear from somebody else what you said amen hallelujah amen and so that that bothers me and the devil no and the devil knows it bothers me. So he'll send it often. Amen. He knows what gets to you. So anything that can distract you and move you and get you out of your, your place in God. Amen. He, he'll try it. He'll send everything, but he'll send the kitchen sink. He'll send the kitchen. He'll throw the whole house at you if, if, if it'll work. Amen. Hallelujah. But I apologized and I apologized to God. I said, God, because I represent the kingdom. Y'all hear me say it all the time. We represent the kingdom of heaven. And so I represent the kingdom. Spiritual leader, pastor, I lead people. I share the word of God with y'all and many others. And so uh, you should have a certain amount of decorum. But, you know, like I said, I'm human and stuff gets to me. And so I'm going to, I I just let, cried out before the Lord and prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. I prayed to God and I said, Lord, just help me be a little bit more amen hallelujah humble and 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 not even you can't help what comes in your mind because the bible says be angry but sin not which means you're going to get angry <laughs> it just don't act on it god don't charge you for what people do to you god charges you for what you do to others amen hallelujah and growing up and taking martial arts every punch every kick every action by the enemy or your opponent amen it precludes a reaction amen hallelujah to what they're doing and so, but in Christ, it's a whole different thing. You, we turn the other cheek. Amen. Hallelujah. We love them that hate you. We pray for them that are spitefully used you. In Christ, that's what we do. Amen. Hallelujah. And so that we may win the soul. Everybody has a soul. 
Amen. Everybody has a soul. And, and so even the most uh, cruel and evil person has a soul. And so sometimes we look to see, uh, we should as believers look to see the, the resolution and, and see the godliness, see the silver lining, see the how, how to, amen, make it into a positive situation. And so uh, I often pray to God, amen. Nobody can get on me but worse than I get on myself. Any, any comment or any criticism anybody have, I have said it to myself a thousand times over. So that don't really bother me. But uh, like I said, when you said nothing, you've done nothing to someone, and then yet you hear things around the corner, amen, I look about what they said, and I'm like, why they didn't just call you? I'm sure somebody else been through this before, amen, hallelujah, amen, and people speaking stuff out of their mouth, that, and they won't call you and talk to you, they're 12, they'll tell 12 people, amen, hallelujah, talk to your brother and your cousins and everybody else except you. Amen. The Bible says if you have ought with your brother, go to that person and work that thing out with them. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, in my prayers and, and, and we're working on our CD, I make CDs for the for the family. Amen. And so I uh, ran across John P. Key. Amen. Hallelujah. I made it out. Hallelujah. I made it all all right. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so uh, <clears throat> That thing just touched me. Amen. I just kept playing over and over again and it started to bring joy. Amen. To my soul. Amen. Hallelujah. And 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 so uh I believe in New Year's resolutions. I believe in one always trying to improve oneself. I don't I don't knock it. I just say February don't see them. Amen. Hallelujah. But I don't knock anyone trying to improve themselves. There's nothing wrong with that. Every day that God gives you, just don't wait till January the first. Amen. Hallelujah. But but every day God gives us is another opportunity to improve ourselves, to make ourselves better. Hallelujah. That's why I thank God for every new day. Amen. Every day God gives us, we ought to thank him and give him praise because you could have died in that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That thing could have took you out of here. That thing could have cost your your soul. It, it could have cost your soul. Amen. Hallelujah. And so uh, whenever God gives us a brand new day and another opportunity to work it out and, and reason together, Amen. Hallelujah. It's a blessing. Amen. Hallelujah. So, so Psalms 30 says, I will exalt thee. Hallelujah. O Lord, for thou hast lifted me up. Hallelujah. I will praise you because you lifted me up. You brought me out of this situation. Hallelujah. Thou hast not made my foes to rejoice over me. And sometimes the enemy comes, amen, to do things just to, to come at you. Amen. It could be jealousy. It could be hate. Amen. You, something you did, you didn't know you did it. Hallelujah. Amen. I told y'all one Sunday, one of the preachers preached a message on forgiveness. Amen. Hallelujah. And they had a circle down in the, in the floor of the church back at Antioch where I come from. Amen. And they had to pass the mic around. He, they said, I want you to tell everybody, amen, that you're sorry. If I did anything to offend you, um, I apologize. I'm sorry. Amen. And y'all know Pastor Phil's not normal. Y'all pray for me. Amen. Hallelujah. So as they passed the, the, the mic around, they got to me and I said, if I have offended you, I will continue to offend you until you tell me what I did to offend you. And then I passed the mic. Hallelujah. Amen. Because there's no use in apologize for something you don't know about. Hallelujah. Amen. Something that you didn't do. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's come talk and let's reason together. The Bible says, amen. If you have an art with somebody, go to that person and tell them. Hallelujah. So I expect not to hear, amen, what I've done or what I've said or how I offended you from somebody else. I prefer to hear from you because you're the person that's offended. So come to me. Amen. Hallelujah. But your enemy don't care if you're offended or not. They, they just came to attack you. Amen. Hallelujah. So 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 the, the, the praise is, Lord, you, you didn't let I, my enemy rejoice over me. O oh Lord, my God, I cried unto thee, and thou hast healed me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We, we need to seek and do self-inventory. Amen. And seek healing ourselves. Amen. Hallelujah. And make sure it's okay with me and the Lord. And Jesus prayed that prayer. Lord, it's not for them. Amen. It's not about you and me because our relationship is good. These are, these are for them that they might believe. Hallelujah. Amen. O oh Lord, thou hast brought up my soul from the grave that has kept me alive that I should not go down to the pit I don't want the, the, the tricks of the enemy 
and the attacks of the enemies to separate me from the love of God. <laughs> amen. I hold my, my relationship, my love for God. Amen. Pure and perfect. I try to keep, amen, in constant communication with the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To keep it good with me and God. Amen. It's, it's, it's a bad thing to fall into the hands of an angry God. Amen. Hallelujah. Not just for preaching, not because I'm a pastor and I walk around with suits and robes and, and preach the word. No. Hallelujah. It's about my personal relationship with Christ. He walks with me. He talks with me. He tells me that I am his own. Hallelujah. He lifts me up out of a horrible pit, place my feet upon a rock. Don't get me started on my Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm in relationship. I don't get scriptures just to preach. Hallelujah. I don't study God's word to make a point. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I study because, amen, thy word is a light unto my feet, a lamp, hallelujah, unto my pathway, hallelujah, because I love the word, they that hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled, I love as a dear panther for the water brook, my soul thirsteth after thee, O God, hallelujah, I love the Lord, I love the Lord, hallelujah, I love his word. I love his people. Hallelujah. Here on earth. Amen. You got to have a love for the people. You can tell a teacher they don't care about the kids. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They there for a paycheck. You can tell the foster parents that don't care about the kids. They, they just, they, they, you got a lot of people out there. Amen. Call themselves pastors and leaders. They did it. Amen. They went to class. They took the school class. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Not because they love the people. Amen. As a career choice. Hallelujah. I didn't choose this. I, I didn't choose the preacher. Hallelujah. The preacher chose me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm minding my own business. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He called me out of darkness into this marvelous life. So I love the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It's not about me in my office as a pastor and preaching God's word. No, it's about my relationship with God. I, I preach the word. I preach truth because I had doubts. Hallelujah. He, 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 he soothes my doubts. He calmed my fears. And now when somebody comes with questions, I can have an answer because I had that same question at some time in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He brought me a mighty long way. Saints, don't make me, don't make me start talking about my Lord. Hallelujah. I get excited. Amen. Sing unto the Lord. Oh, ye saints. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And give thanks at the remembrance of his holiness. I'm in Psalms 30. Amen. If you came in late. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We sing and give God praise and give God glory. We are his children. We're his saints. We are believers. Hallelujah. We who are sanctified because of the blood of Jesus Christ on the cross of Calvary. Hallelujah. We are his saints. And that's what we do as believers. We trust God. You're not scared. You're not, you know, I'm careful. I mean, I wash my hands. I wear my mask. Amen. Hallelujah. Social distance. I did that before Corona. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I do trust God and I praise God. Don't forget to give God praise, saints. Don't forget to sing. I don't just say that. Just be saying things. And I'm trying to come up with no cliches and no, amen, quick thoughts or something. Hallelujah. No new revelation. No, from faith to faith, the just shall live by faith. Hallelujah. We are holy. We are his children. We are the sheep of his pasture. We are his children. We are the sanctified. That's what we mean by saints. Not that we are holy or great people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, because we are sanctified by him. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Who gave himself for us. And so we, we praise and we sing songs to him and give him glory. For what he's done, not for who we are. Uh, we are a mess, born in sin, shaped in iniquity, come short of the glory of God. Uh, but he's holy. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And he said, Holiness without no man shall see the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. But the thing of it is, Amen. He didn't require us to be perfect. Amen. That sanctification, that set apart. Amen. Hallelujah. It's a process. Amen. As you grow in the grace of your past, you've been passing and preaching. Amen. Passing for over 13 years and you've been preaching for, amen, all these years. You mean to tell me you said something? You, yes, absolutely. Hallelujah. Because I'm human. Hallelujah. Amen. That first man, Adam, is still there. Amen. He still lived there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the more you yield to the second man, Adam, which is Jesus Christ. Amen. How did, if you, if you, if you walk in the spirit, you will not fulfill the love of the flesh amen so the more you rely on jesus the less amen hallelujah you, you you'll stand on yourself but somebody get into your feelings amen hallelujah meet you where you live how you might say something you got no business how you might do something you have no business doing 
Hallelujah. I tell folk, amen, if it didn't sound like me, it wasn't me. Amen. And if it was me, I wasn't me that day. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. But we that but that's no excuse. Amen. Hallelujah. That's what happened. Amen. Hallelujah. But we should grow in grace and the knowledge of the truth, and we should seek to do things according to the will of God. If you sin, you have advocate with the Father. Amen. If you offended somebody, you go to them and you work that thing out with them. You resolve it. Amen. And move forward. And sometimes people don't want to resolve it. Then you just resolve it within yourself. Amen. Sometimes you got to shake the dust from your feet and turn and walk away. Hallelujah. Because sometimes folk won't, won't forgive you because they want to hold it over your head. Amen. You forgive yourself. You work it out with the Lord and turn and walk away from that situation. Amen. Because that's not somebody that's there for your benefit. And you got to be careful. That's another message for another day. Hallelujah. But you got to be careful of people like that. Because people want to control you and control your life. And so they'll hold something over you to manipulate you. Amen. Hallelujah. They're holding your feelings ransom. Amen. Your peace ransom. No, you don't have my peace. Hallelujah. Amen. I have my peace. He, he gave me the peace that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah. Thank you, G. Now, key verse here, the fifth verse of the, uh, the 30th chapter, the book of Psalms says, For his anger endureth but a moment. He won't stay mad at you. How many times did he forgive Israel? How many times did Israel walk away from God? How many times God sent it, especially judges. You read judges by itself. Hallelujah. Amen. Israel sinned. God punished them. They cried out to God because of the punishment. Amen. He sent a judge. He sent a deliverer to come to, to save them. They said, thank you, Lord, and then turn around and start sinning again. Amen. Hallelujah. So how many times did he do that? He, he, he loves us. We are his children. It's like your child. You don't care. What they do, amen, hallelujah, and, you know, per se, amen, hallelujah, uh, but you still love them no matter what, amen, and you look to in, uh, encourage them, amen, and to uh, correct them, amen, but yet love them. My parents should say, it's going to hurt me more than hurt you. No, technically, no, that's, it's going to hurt you hitting me, so I'm going to hurt more than you're being hurt. But I didn't understand it until I became an adult. And you do understand it. Amen. That that it does hurt because you want your children to do what's right. Amen. And it hurts to have to punish them to, to let them see the right way to do things. Amen. Hallelujah. And so, uh, but God loves us. Amen. He chastens us. He corrects us because he wants us to do it the right way. He sends his word. He sends preached word, words through songs to correct us. Amen. Hallelujah. So we can do things the right way to do things God's way. Amen. His way is the best way. Hallelujah. So our key verse was anger endureth but a moment. Hallelujah. In his favor is life. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, if you're willing obedience, you eat the good of the land. Rebuke and rebel should be doubted. Devoured with sword. With long life will I satisfy you and show you my salvation. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. It's better to serve him than to reject him. And his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Hallelujah. Amen. It's just for a moment. Hallelujah. That the tears are flowing. It's just for a moment that you're going through what you're going through. Hallelujah. But my brothers and sisters, the joy is coming. Hallelujah. Joy cometh in the morning. Amen. Excuse me. Joy cometh in the morning. We got to trust him. We got to believe him. We got to put our trust in him. Amen. We put our faith in him. Amen. When that situation is right there in front of you and you don't know what to do. Well, actually, you know what to do. Amen. But every answer you have is carnal. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You lift your eyes to the hills with come for your help. The, 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 your help coming from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Amen. Look at your creator. Paul told Timothy, remember thy creator in the days of thy youth. And I say to you, remember your creator at the time that you're angry and upset and may say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. Amen. Or whatever you're going through right now, you might be in the nighttime of your life and you're weeping. I don't say don't cry. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, because it hurts. It's painful. Hallelujah. Let's look at the reality of the situation. Hallelujah. You're going through it. Amen. Hallelujah. You're suffering through it. Hallelujah. It's real. Your pain is real. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. But the joy is real. 
Your deliverance is real. Your healing is real. Your breakthrough is real. So that's why we look to the morning. Hallelujah. We are not, amen. The sun's not moving. We are moving. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. The sun is standing still. Amen. It's in a secure, stable place. Hallelujah. We're all over the place. Hallelujah. We're spinning over here and spinning over there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But for us, it's morning time when the sun, amen, amen, comes over the horizon. Amen. And we know the sun is there even in the mid night hour hallelujah even in the darkest night even through a thunderstorm when the clouds have covered the star the sun hallelujah we know the sun is there hallelujah no matter what we're going through it's still there know that god is with me yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i will fear no evil for thou art with me my thy rod thy staff they comfort me thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemy thou anointest my hair with oil my cup runneth over surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever let's be better people let's be better believers hallelujah let's look forward hallelujah to the morning time when the sun rises hallelujah thank you Jesus amen hallelujah and the warm day comes amen and shines into our lives and shines into our hearts and our minds hallelujah we can be more nicer to more people when we know joy is coming hallelujah Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We can have a little bit more faith to know that joy is coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can treat people better when we know joy is coming. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We can be a bit nicer to folk. Hallelujah. We have the faith to know. Amen. Some have more faith in the more. What you doing tomorrow? Well, tomorrow we're going to do this, this, and you got more faith in what's happening tomorrow. Hallelujah. Take, the Bible says, take no thought for tomorrow. What you're going to eat or drink or where would you be comforted? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Put your faith in Jesus. Put your trust in him and everything will be all right. God will bless you. He will move in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, it's painful. Yes, we cry. Hallelujah. But we have to endure. We have to go through it. Hallelujah for the moment. Hallelujah. Just for a moment. Hallelujah. But joy is coming in the morning. Joy cometh, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Joy cometh in the morning. We're going to go before the Lord and pray. Y'all put in your prayer request. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Put in your prayer request. Hallelujah. God bless all of y'all for joining us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we go before the Lord. Father, we thank you. For everybody that have joined on with this noonday prayer today, and those that are listening, uh, YouTube, PowerPoint, iTunes, wherever they're listening at today, Lord, we ask for you to bless, touch, and deliver your people. They might have said some things or done some things that they're ashamed of. Amen. Hallelujah. They don't feel good about doing it as a believer. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Well, let them know that they can come to the Father. If we sin, we have advocate with the Father, Lord God, that we can call on your name and ask for forgiveness and go to the person and try to work it out, Lord God, with that person, Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Bless us as your children. Help us, Lord God, to do what's right, to live a holy life, Lord God, Lord God. Hallelujah, Lord God. Even though there are night times, there are dark times, Lord God, times when we lament and cry over the things that's going on in our life, Lord God. Hallelujah, because we don't like it. Hallelujah, Lord God. Hallelujah, we don't like it, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, but it, it, it's a necessity of life, Lord God. Good days, bad days, hills and valleys, ups and downs, Lord God. But we know that no matter what we're going through, you're there. You're with us, Lord God. You helps us. Hallelujah. Go through the storm. Go through the it's situation. Hallelujah. And we're better because, because of you, Lord God. We bless your name. We magnify your name. We lift up your holy name. Hallelujah. These and all blessings we ask in Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. And amen. Amen. God bless you. If somebody has a prayer request. Amen. Make your request. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I'll pray for you. I'll pray with you. I'll know what you're going through, and I'm going to pray with, amen, everybody. Amen. I'm going to give you uh, time to, amen, call in and check in with me. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. About it. And we thank God for all of God's people. Amen. Hallelujah. All around the world and everybody who's connected with us. Not just on this broadcast, but all our broadcasts. Amen. Love you in Jesus' name. I thank God for you. Amen. Hallelujah. And those that can, bless the house. Amen. Hallelujah. Have cash app, agape, C-A-A-G-A-P-E-C-A. 
dollar sign goes in the front. Amen. Capital A, a lowercase on the rest. Amen. So <clears throat> we'll mail it here to the church. Amen. Please mail your prayer request. Somebody, some people mail their prayer request. Thank you so much. Amen. Some without, some with. I don't care. Amen. Hallelujah. You don't have to have money to. Amen. If you have a stamp, mail it in. Amen. And you want to put it in our. We have a prayer book. Amen. That I put the uh, request in. So, amen. You want your prayer request in the prayer book. Amen. Send it to 7240 Bowdoin Drive, uh, Springfield, Virginia. We're in unit F and G. Amen. 7240 F and G, Bowdoin Drive, Springfield, Virginia. 22150. If you need to talk to Pastor, 703-454-4119. 703-454-4119. Amen is um, my number. So call if you need to talk to me. Amen. Hallelujah. If you just need somebody to talk to, help you through this. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's get through this together. Let's lock arms together. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so we ask your prayers as we continue on. Pray for Agape. Pray for Pastor Fields. Please pray for me. Amen. And the members of Agape and the members of the kingdom worldwide. But I'm I'm here at Agape. So, amen. I pray for all pastors and leaders. Amen. Hallelujah. But but please pray for Amen Agape in the church and the ministry here. Amen. Hallelujah. So we run on and see what the end is going to be. Amen. We already know Revelations tells us, but amen. And, 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 and uh, Matthew uh, 24 and uh, uh, Daniel 11. Hallelujah. Gives us, amen, a roadmap to what's coming. Amen. And what's here now? Jesus, help us, Lord. Lord. Lord, help us in this political situation, and which is what it is every every season of, 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 of but this year. Lord, go vote. Amen. Hallelujah. Go vote. You have no say if you, if you don't vote. Amen. And your local um, your vote, local elections are a lot more important than the national ones. Amen. So uh, please vote. Do some research. Amen. You do research to get a car. Do some research search about what candidates are running on what platform. Amen. And please vote if you haven't already. Amen. How do your civic duty. Amen. Jesus said, render to Caesar that will belong to Caesar and unto God which that belong to God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we got to do what, what we need to do civically and spiritually. Amen. I just happen to be a pastor. So I'm going to talk on the Bible and Jesus and heaven and all that kind of stuff. All right. Hallelujah. God bless you. Love you in Jesus name. Our closing scripture, first Timothy, first chapter 17, verse down to the king, eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God be honor and glory forever and ever. Let the church say. Amen. Show somebody the unconditional love of God. This is the Agape Way. God bless you, family. Love you in Jesus' name, and we'll see you guys next time. God bless you. Agape Worldwide Ministries and Pastor Renzo James Fields invite you to come worship with us in Springfield, Virginia. We're located 7240 F&G Budenite Drive in Springfield, Virginia. Call 703-372-1174. Agape Worldwide Ministries. Real love, real people, real church.